Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to our second full week of the school year. I'm Astrid Onesto. And I'm Dustin Bourdon. The announcement count is up from last week, so sit back and get ready for the news of Phoenix High School. To start off today, we once again want to remind students that Mr. Schaffler, Mr. Shipley, and Mrs. Campbell will not be opening the doors by the PE Commons. Once school starts for the day, you need to walk around and enter by the main office. Not only the PE Commons doors, but all exits around the school must remain closed during school hours. This is for everyone's safety. Students who are outside the building need to only enter the building by the front office. If you are caught letting students into the building through doors that are locked on the outside, you will face disciplinary consequences. No solo los comunes de PE, pero todas las salidas alrededor de la escuela deben permanecer cerradas durante las horas de la escuela. Los estudiantes que están fuera del edificio necesitan entrar por la oficina. Si usted deja entrar un estudiante en el, en el edificio a través de las puertas que están cerrados con llave, se, enfrente, se enfrentará a con consecuencias disciplinarias. Another important policy here at Phoenix High School that our student management team would like you to be aware of is our new tardy policy. Phoenix High School wants you to succeed, so being tardy should always be avoided. But we know you can't always avoid being tardy, so please know when you are tardy that after four tardies, you will be assigned a lunch detention. After six tardies, you will be assigned two lunch detentions. If you are still consistently showing up tardy, then after eight tardies, you will, you will receive three lunch detentions, and your parents will be notified by the school. If you still can't get, sorry, if you still can't get to class on time, then good luck getting a job one day. Uh, however, 9 to 12 tardies will lead to a full day of in-school suspension. If that doesn't get you to class on time, then I'm not sure the real world is for you. Uh, but if you get more than 13 tardies in a quarter, you will be referred to the attendance team for complete privilege contract negation. This could lead to changes in your schedule, loss of off-campus privilege, and other disciplinary consequences. Tenemos nueva póliza para cuando llegas tarde a clase. Si llegas tarde cuatro veces, tendrás una detención de almuerzo. Si llegas tarde seis veces, tendrás dos detenciones. Ocho veces y tendrás tres detenciones y una llamada a los padres. Si llegas tarde nueve a doce veces, tendrás un día de suspensión en la escuela. Después de trece veces o más, tienes que consultar con el equipo de asistencia para establecer un, una reunión con los padres. Puede perder el privilegio de salir del campus por semestre. Uh, the Oregon School Board Association is featuring Phoenix High School this year as part of the Promise of Oregon campaign. And in particular, our efforts to lift graduation rates for all students. The Oregon Promise campaign is designed in, to highlight the achievements of Oregon students and encourage investment in our public school system. Phoenix High School is looking for 15 students that are, that are on track for graduation and would be willing to participate in having their picture taken alo along with a personal quote on why they are fulfill fulfilling the promise of Oregon by staying on track to graduate. We will also be selecting two students for the making of a short self-made video. If you are interested in participating in the Oregon Promise campaign, please tell your advisory teacher at the conclusion of today's Page TV episode. Phoenix High School está buscando 15 estudiantes que están en camino para la graduación. Si estaría dispuesto a participar en tener su foto tomada junto con una cita personal sobre por qué está cumpliendo la promesa de Oregon por permanecer en camino de graduarse, también seleccionaremos a dos estudiantes para la, realiz para la realización de videos cortos y autohechos. Si está interesado en participar en la campaña de promesa de Oregon, por favor informe a su, a su asesor al final del episodio de PHTV de hoy. Students, the staff of Phoenix High School needs your help in taking care of your facility and grounds. Lately, lately, there has been a lot of debris left on the tables, in the commons, and on the parking lots and in the stadium. This is not reflective of the values of Phoenix High School, nor do we, want, do we believe it is a reflection of the values of our students. We hope bringing this to your attention, 
you will take immediate action to preserve your outstanding facilities. So take pride in your school and clean up after yourselves. Starting this week, Phoenix High School's After School Academic Support Program, or ASAP, will be up and running after school. ASAP is for any students who need additional time or support after school with academic or school-related work. ASAP takes place on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school in Mrs. Pond's room and 105. There is a bus that can give you transportation home as well. You must sign up with Mrs. Pond in room N105 if you're interested in utilizing ASAP. A partir de esta semana, la programa de apoyo académico después de la escuela de Phoenix High School, o ASAP, estaría funcionando después de la escuela. ASAP es para cualquier estudiante que necesita tiempo adicional o apoyo después de la escuela con trabajo académico o relacionado con la escuela. ASAP va a ser los martes, miércoles y jueves después de la escuela en la habitación de la señora Pond, N105. Hay un autobús que puede dar transporte a casa también. Usted debe inscribirse con la señora Pond en la habitación N105 si está interesado en utilizar ASAP. Transitioning now from the world of student management to the world of Phoenix High School clubs. Today, Monday, September 18th, is the Welcome Back Barbecue for FFA. Anyone is invited to attend them and meet in the Commons at 6 p.m. where dinner is free. They will be handing out permission slips to go to the Green Hand Conference and Oregon Ag Tour, so don't miss out. Oh, also for our FFA, there will be a Community Service Pond Work Day this Wednesday, September 20th at 3.30. This is for anyone interested in earning some community service hours. Please meet behind the greenhouse after school this Wednesday if you're interested in the Community Service Pond Work Day. One last announcement from Phoenix FFA. If you are a freshman and interested in joining FFA, don't wait. The first 20 freshmen to sign up for FFA get free dues. This means if uh, you're a FFA member for free and you get a t-shirt for free. So if you are a freshman who wants to join FFA, don't wait. See Miss Walkup or Mr. Kennedy today. Un último anuncio de FFA de Phoenix. Si usted es un estudiante de primer año y está interesado en unirse a FFA, no espere. Los primeros 20 estudiantes de primer año para inscribirse en FFA obtienen entrada gratis y usted recibe una camiseta gratis. Así que si eres un estudiante de primer año que quiere unirse a FFA, ve a la señora Walk up or al Senor Kennedy Oi. Another opportunity at Phoenix High we want you to know about is our equestrian team. Do you have a horse? Do you enjoy equine sports? Want, do you want to represent your school doing what you enjoy? Phoenix High School's equestrian team offers a wider range of equine activities, including English and Western performance events, time events, cow events, and team events. Please see Ms. Rollins ASAP in the art room if you're interested in joining the team. Ms. Rollins needs to know this month what the approximate size of the team will be in order to make the best possible arrangements for athlete practice starting in November. In addition to interest in the equestrian team, Ms. Rollins would also like to hear from those of you who may already be part of a writing program or instruction of any discipline in the Valley and might be interested in combining some of our activities with your existing program in hopes of making this sport more accessible to our students. Once again, if you have any questions on equestrian team or equine sports, see Ms. Rollins in the art room. Lastly, for Ms. Rollins in the art club, if you're interested in traveling to Peru and Machu Picchu over spring break with Ms. Rollins, you need to see Ms. Rollins as soon as possible to lock in the current price. The cost of the trip will jump up by $75 at the end of this month and will continue to climb. We are only six months away from a travel date. Don't wait any longer. Lock in your trip price now. In other club news, Mr. Campagna would like to invite anyone who is interested in joining the Outdoor Club to come by and check out their meetings. The Outdoor Club will meet the second Thursday of every month at lunch in Campagna's room, which is S202. The Outdoors Club, the Outdoors Club's first event of the year will be the mellow hike through the Brit Trails in Jacksonville. This event will occur on Sunday, September 24th, and the club will be meeting near the Brit Concert Area at 8.30 a.m. Talk to Mr. Campagna in room S202 if you have any questions or would like to sign up. Also from the Outdoors Club, this year they will be in charge of can and bottle recycling and would like to ask for help from the students and staff of Phoenix High School. Please put all returnable bottles and cans in blue cans placed around the school. Help the Outdoor Club and recycle at the same time. Use the blue bins for all returning bottles and cans. 
Por favor, ponga todas las botellas y latas returnable en contenedores azules colocadas alrededor de la escuela. Ayude al Outdoors Club y recicle al mismo tiempo. Utilice los contenedores azules para todas las botellas retornables y latas. Another great opportunity to get involved is with our Phoenix High School Garden Club. Garden Club will be meeting Thursdays after school in Mr. Jancic's classroom, S408. If you have questions or want to know more about Garden Club, please see Mr. Jancic in room S408. Speaking of great opportunities and ways to get involved at Phoenix High, check out the Phoenix High School Speech and Debate Team. The Speech and Debate Team is headed up by Mr. Roderick and meets Fridays during lunch. If you're interested in being a part of the Speech and Debate Team or have questions, please see Mr. Roderick in room N410. Also in club news, mediation training will be today at lunch in Cornette's room. All are welcome to attend. Bring your lunch. The meeting will start 10 minutes into lunch. There will be a meeting today, uh, Monday, September 18th at 3.45 p.m. in the theater room for anyone interested in participating in theater this year. Mr. Monk, the new theater director, will go over plans for this year's productions and also wants to hear student ideas and input relating to the Phoenix Theater program. Pizza will be provided. Please join the theater club today after school in the theater room if you are interested in participating in theater. Also in theater news, the student-run thespian club will be held every other Friday starting this upcoming Friday. They will be held in the theater classroom. The theater after school program as of now is only slightly connected to with the club. So meetings will hold new information than what the after school program has mentioned. Speaking of amazing activities and fun things going around Phoenix High School, in just a few weeks will be our annual homecoming Pirate Country Parade. On Wednesday, October 4th, starting at 6 p.m., the Pirate Country Parade will roll down the, street, the main streets of Phoenix. Hablando de actividades asombrosas y cosas divertidas de Phoenix, en pocas semanas será nuestro desfile anual del, de bienvenida. El miércoles 4 de octubre, a partir de las 6 de la tarde, el desfile rodará por las calles principales de Phoenix. Any sports teams, clubs, groups, or activities here at Phoenix High School are encouraged to join the parade. If you or your group are interested in being in the Pirate Country Parade, then please pick up an entry form at the main office. One teacher here at Phoenix High School is looking for students interested in being a part of the Pirate Country Parade. If anyone is interested in walking in the homecoming parade with Mrs. Campbell at the and the future healthcare professionals group, please see Mrs. Campbell in room S408 to sign up. If you don't want to wait two weeks for something to do on Wednesday, then you are in luck. This Wednesday is the Phoenix High School Open House. Open House will be this Wednesday starting at 6 p.m. and will run till 8 p.m. We encourage all students to invite their parents to join us this Wednesday at 6 for Open House. Check, out, check with your teachers for opportunities that will be happening during Open House. Open House será este miércoles a partir de las 6 de la tarde y funcionará hasta las 8. Animamos a todos los estudiantes a, in a invitar a sus padres a unirse con nosotros este miércoles a las 6 para la casa abierta. Consulte con sus maestros las oportunidades que se presentarán durante la jornada de puertas abiertas. All that talk about the parade has uh, sure made me feel spirited, what do you say? Uh, speaking of school spirit, this week, students here at Phoenix High School have a chance to earn spirit points for their class and a chance to win the spirit day at the end of the year. Tomorrow, Tuesday, September 19th, is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Here at Phoenix High School, we celebrate this day by dressing like pirates. So tomorrow, dress like a pirate to earn your class spirit points. Are you going to dress like a pirate? I know I am. Also this week on Friday, September 22nd, will be a spirit day for wearing red. Any students at Phoenix High School who wear red this Friday will earn spirit points and once again help their class get closer to the spirit day at the end of the year. So remember to dress like a pirate this Tuesday and wear red this Friday to help your class earn spirit points. Así que acuérdate de vestirte como una pirata este martes y lleva rojo este viernes para ayudar a tu clase a ganar spirit points. Moving on now to news from our future planning center, financial aid night is just a little over a week away. Seniors and their parents are invited to attend on Tuesday, September 26th, starting at 6.30 p.m. in the Commons. This is an opportunity to learn about the process of applying for financial aid, scholarships, and grants for college. Presentations will be held in both English and Spanish. La noche de ayuda financiera está en solo unas semanas. 
Los de grado 12 y sus padres están invitados a asistir el martes 26 de septiembre a partir de las 6 y media de la noche en los comunes. Esta es una oportuni oportunidad para aprender sobre el proceso de solicitud de ayuda financiera y becas para la universidad. Las presentaciones se llevarán, se llevarán en inglés en español. Be sure to check out the upcoming events board in the Future Planning Center. Phoenix High will be hosting visits from schools such as University of Oregon, Linfield College, Portland State, and more. If you're interested in learning about any of these schools, you must sign up in advance. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend the very first Southern Oregon Trade Careers Expo on Thursday, September 28th. 40 PHS students will travel to the Seven Feathers Convention Center to explore trade and industrial careers. Featured careers include welding, forestry, police and fire, emergency rescue, metalworking, and more. See Ms. House in the Future Planning Center to pick up a permission slip. Juniors and seniors están invitados a asistir la primera Southern Oregon Trade Careers Expo el jueves 28 de septiembre. 40 estudiantes de PHS viajarán al Centro de Convenciones Seven Feathers para explorar carreras comerciales e industri industriales. Carreras destacadas incluyen la soldadura, forestal, policía y bombero, rescate de emergencia, el trabajo de metal y mucho más. Ve a la señora House en el Centro de Planificación Futura para recoger una hoja de permiso. Turning now to news from our pirate athletes and sports teams, this year at Phoenix High School we have a new athletic director. Our new athletic, athletic director, Mr. Earhart, wanted to share a few messages with the school student body. A new online store has been developed exclusively for Phoenix High School and its fans. PhoenixSpiritWear.itemOrder.com is located is the location for everything Phoenix Pirates. Items include t-shirts, hoodies, polos, hats, and seat cushions. Several items are available in men's and women's sizes. Proceeds from the store will benefit Phoenix athletics and activities. So check out phoenixspiritwear.itemorder.com to get your Phoenix Pirate gear today. Another message from our athletic director, Mr. Earhart. We, wanted, we want you to join Pirate Nation on social media. Uh, we are connected on both Facebook and Twitter, sorry no snap stuff yet, and provide lots of PHS related info for the world. Our Facebook home is Phoenix High School Pirates and most of our clubs and sports have their own pages on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter at PHS Pirates Live. The athletic department tweets on a regular basis from Pirate Games. Let's check in now with our varsity athletic teams and see how they performed. In volleyball action last week, our Pirates volleyball team took on Sutherland last, Thursday, last Tuesday following by a score of three sets to zero. The Pirates rebound, rebounded on Thursday traveling to Mazama for a league opening win by a score of three sets to zero. Over the weekend, the volleyball team participated in a tournament at North Medford playing very hard against some much larger schools. This week, our volleyball team will have a home game against North Valley High School. Be sure to come out this Thursday and cheer on our volleyball team. The game starts at 6.15. In boys soccer action, our Pirates soccer team took on Brookings Harbor last Tuesday at home, competing well to finish in a one-to-one -one tie. This week, the boys will host North Valley on Thursday at Culver Field in town. The game starts at 4.30. Be sure and go to Culver Field on Thursday at 4 to support boys soccer. In girls' soccer news, our girls' soccer team took on South Umqua last Monday, winning in an impressive fashion by a score of 5-0. Then on Saturday, the girls traveled to Sutherland to take on the Bulldogs. The team unfortunately didn't get to play due to smoke. Today, our girls' soccer team will host a home game at Culver Field starting at 4.30 against the Mustangs of Hidden Valley. Be sure to go out to Culver Field today after school and cheer on our Lady Pirates soccer team. In cross-country action, our Pirates Harriers travel to Grants Pass last Wednesday to compete at the pre-district preview. Our boys teams finished in 6th place and our girls placed 4th. Then on Saturday, our cross-country team traveled up north to Eugene to compete in the Northwest Classic. As of the, this morning's results were not in athletic.net. Uh, this upcoming Saturday, Talent Middle School will be hosting the Rogue Cross Country Invitational at Culver Field. Make sure you make your way out this Saturday to Culver Park and cheer out our tough pirate runners. Finally, in football action, our football team took on South Umqua this past Saturday in a game that was rescheduled from Friday. The Pirates played hard and won, in a, won an exciting game by a score of 28-27. to 27. The, 
This Friday, our football team will host a home game for the first time this year, starting at 7 p.m. against Mazama High School to open up league play. Be sure to come to the football game this Friday and cheer our Pirates on to victory. Okay, that wraps up our show for today. Uh, we have one last thing to take care of, and that is trivia time. Last week's trivia question was, where do you go if you want to sign up for college visits and see the upcoming event sports for the career opportunities? And the winner is... Pick this one right here. Uh, Vincent Walker, uh, advisor Hanson, and you answered Michelle House, uh, Future Planning Center. That is correct. Um, see Mr. Rhodes after advisory to collect your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, what two dress-up days are happening this week? Make sure to write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and your advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Maybe next week you will win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia esta semana es, ¿qué dos días de vestir están ocurriendo esta semana? Asegúrase de escribir su respuesta en un pedazo de papel junto con su nombre y el nombre de, de su consejero y ponerlo dentro del sobre que está en la puerta del señor, del señor Rhodes. Tal vez la próxima semana usted ganar, ganará una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show. And as always, check out our online platform, phtvnews.com. Have a great week, Phoenix High School. This has been your news. Your so your, I'm so sorry. This has been your school. <laughs> your people and, and your, your news. news.